crazy ass parties. And I decided to do a quick get ready with me. Look how gorgeous that is. All right, I'm all ready. Good morning guys, happy Vlogmas day 16. It's currently like 10 a.m. right now and I really wanted to get up super early like I did yesterday, like actually get my day started. I didn't take a nap at all yesterday and I was so proud of myself, like I actually got a lot done. Um, so hopefully I can do the same today, but I need to feed the little Nucci first. So I also decided to come down here and do some work like vlog editing and stuff like that because if I'm sitting in my bed or in my room, I just get so lazy. Also, I always wear these like clips in my hair when I'm doing stuff because now that I have bangs, it always gets in my face and it makes me so mad. So my dad just went to Chick-fil-A and he asked if I wanted anything and I made the executive decision to get a salad. I told myself I would start eating healthier after we went to Umi, so this is my first attempt. I also need to go grocery shopping for the house because there's like nothing here to eat. So I definitely want to get like arugula and avocado and just like definitely take advantage of having a kitchen while I'm home. Today my dad is actually having one of his crazy ass parties. Um, he's having like a holiday themed one and that means a lot of people in the house, a lot of stress. <laughs> but I'm excited to see how everything turns out because it always looks so freaking like extra and he always gets it catered by like such good restaurants. Like I think today he's getting like Cajun food or something so he invited me and Ryan and like Ryan loves jambalaya so <laughs> I knew he would die when he heard that. He's here. I'm not really that hungry right now so I'm just gonna put that in the fridge. My dad begged the Chick-fil-A people to give him breakfast. It's like definitely past 10.30. Every year you give me birthday advice. What's your birthday advice to this year? So what's my birthday advice to you? Yeah. Number one is study hard. <laughs> Number two is try to start saving some money. That's a new one. I think you harped on that a lot this year. Because I think it's important. Because yeah. I think I've made mistakes when I was young. Yeah. And and I, I'm lucky. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. everybody has that luck. Yeah. I hope you do, but you never know. So number three is I need you to start thinking about what you're going to do after college. Barf. <laughs> um, so you need to start. This is your third year. And in third year is when you start making your career choices. So you need to start thinking very actively about that. Mm -hmm. Trying to find an internship. And I'll be there to guide you and help you. Mm -hmm. um, fourth thing is, you know, have fun. Four years of, this is the best time of your life. Yeah. Party hard, <laughs> you know. And uh, because you'll never get these four years back. Mm -hmm. And the last thing is, <laughs> you know, also do something charitable. Like do something that you feel like giving back. Those are good things on your resume. Mm -hmm. Like if you go on a mission trip or do something. Uh, I mean, you're part of a sorority. Sorority, and you know, I'm sure you guys do something. But yeah. And then hopefully you become the president next year. So. Oh yeah, no, it's not happening. <laughs> So I'm currently uploading a Vlogmas vlog and I am going to go ahead and dig into my kale salad. The salad from Chick-fil-A is like so freaking good. It's kind of like a sweet kale salad. Um, but the only downside is that this is like not that cheap. And like look how big it is. Like what the heck. <laughs> it's like a little side, like even less than a side. But it's really, really good. I wish they sold like a bigger size because I think like when I asked for a large, like it wasn't even that much bigger. So. Hey guys, it is a lot later in the day and I decided to do a quick get ready with me I don't want to do like crazy amounts of makeup just because I'm wearing it Literally just to eat the food at my dad's party and then peace and out But I do want to look presentable. So I'm gonna go in with a uh, cream first This is the Elizabeth Arden lift and firm night cream. I don't even know like I always put night creams on like throughout the day like I don't even care so this is what it looks like this is quite pricey I got sent this to try out and I love the feeling of it like it actually feels so luxurious I don't know if I showed this in another makeup tutorial but this is the eight hour cream all over miracle oil from Elizabeth Arden as well 
and I started using this as primer and I really like it just because I do have really dry skin so I just kind of spritz like one and a half pumps and put that all over my face and down my neck as well I clip my hair up it's being annoying okay next we're gonna go in with foundation and I still have not gotten my MAC foundation that I've been wanting to get um, but I am gonna use my Fenty foundation I just saw that I'm like halfway already out it's honestly not that expensive so that's not awful because I've been using it for you know quite a bit of time but it's not like I do my makeup every day let's be real I'm too lazy to wet it so we're just gonna have it dry for today but I literally just apply it straight to my face and then go in with a beauty blender and I'm gonna have to do about two coats of this just because it's not as full coverage as I would like it to be wait honestly I might not because I'm not trying to like really impress anyone although it is funny because whenever I do go to like my dad's parties or meet my dad's friends they always know me as like the beauty blogger so I feel like I always have to have like such great makeup and like impress them but like whenever I see them I like do the minimal that I can my dad's playing Christmas music right now so don't mind that <laughs> so I've been going to sleep with castor oil on my eyelashes and eyebrows for the past two nights and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's really like like irritating because sometimes it like runs down my face because maybe I put too much or like even my eyelashes, like like I can see the castor oil and sometimes it gets in my eyes and like I'm watching like YouTube videos at night and I'm just like, honestly like frick it, like I'm gonna go to sleep and like shut my eyes because it pisses me off that much. So I think I just need to like apply a little less, but I don't know. Also, I high key need to get a new foundation because although it does match my face, like, I don't know, it just like looks really, really tan sometimes and like orange. All right, we're gonna stop there with the foundation. Like I said, I usually do two coats, but today I'm not feeling it. Um, next, we are gonna go in with setting powder. And I'm not gonna be baking tonight because this is a quick tutorial. And I'm just gonna take my fan brush and just kind of pat where it needs it, aka all over the face. I like to do this a lot because when you bake, it takes like all the shine from the oil away, but like when you just do this really quick, it kind of leaves some of that dewiness. Next is probably my favorite part of this whole freaking tutorial. This is my ride or die. This is the Hourglass Ambient Radiant Light. Look how gorgeous that is. It is beautiful and I use this just to put the shine back into my face after setting it so I'll go and highlight literally everywhere and anywhere I can it gives such a healthy soft glow then I put it right above my eyebrows a little on my chin down my nose told you guys I put it like everywhere my upper lip is super dry today it's like really irritated I swear guys if I don't sleep with ointment on my face for one night all my like eczema spots come back it's like so annoying next I'm gonna go in with my favorite blush right now it is raisin from Ofra I don't know why but this went missing for a good two months and I was really pissed because I literally thought I lost it but then I found it and I was like oh thank god <laughs> this is honestly such a pretty color especially for my skin tone and I love like these reddish brown colors So I don't really want to contour or bronze my face today. I'm gonna skip that step and probably just gonna move into eyes. And all I'm gonna be doing for eyes is curling my lashes and putting like the bare minimum coats on my lashes. Honestly, it's probably gonna turn into like 500 coats knowing me, but I'm gonna try to keep it super simple. I'm gonna take my Roller Lash by Benefit. This is like one of my favorite um, high-end mascaras. And it's not even super expensive it's like 24 dollars i mean obviously still more expensive than drugstore but drugstore prices have definitely gone up and it's like really annoying because foundation at the drugstore used to be like less than ten dollars now they're like going all the way up to 15 and i'm like it's just not what i expected when i go into the drugstore you know like i'd rather spend like what maybe five dollars more ten dollars more to get like something better i don't know if this is all in my head or something but I can tell that my lashes are so much like healthier already by putting castor oil on them 
but it's like only been two nights so like i feel like that couldn't really do that much right someone help me stop i can't stop <laughs> okay i'm gonna do bottom lashes and then separate them and be done with my eyelashes okay now time to separate the lashes i'm first just going to take this spoolie and separate my lower lashes then i'm going to take this mascara it was the one by one by maybelline but i literally have been looking for it in the drugstore and swear they don't have it i don't know where it is i don't know if it's discontinued but this brush is like so good for separating lashes so it's all dried up this is like what three years old <laughs> but I use the brush every day. Lashes are done, and now we need to move on to eyebrows. I'm just gonna wipe off like any excess foundation I have on my eyebrows. And now I'm gonna use the Anastasia, oh, what the? I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz to fill in my brows. I'm pumped, that didn't take that long. All I need is lips, and I'll just do that later when I pick out what I'm gonna wear. But I also wanted to tell you guys that I got a new lens, and I'm so excited. I actually have been using it um, for this makeup tutorial. It came in the mail today, and I'm really excited about it. It's the 16 to 35 millimeter 2.8. So it's just a wide angle lens. I didn't think I would be using it for video that often, but it looks pretty good. It looks pretty cool. Um, but I did see a lot of like cool like Instagrammers have it for their pictures and it looked amazing. So I thought might as well get me an early Christmas gift. So I am all ready. I did my hair a little, I just like recurled it. And then I applied some lip stuff. I have this Dose of Color Cinnamon Swirl and I thought it would be like a little bit darker, but I don't know, might as well try it out. And then I have this NYX lip liner in coffee that I lined my lips with. It's kind of like a summery color. I wasn't expecting that to be honest, but whatever, I'm not gonna change it. And then I'm wearing this jumpsuit that I got from Boohoo. It just has like the one sleeve kind of thing. And the whole back is open. I'm just gonna shake my curls out a little bit. All right, I'm all ready. You're stunning harder right now. I want a brand new whip. I want a brand new house. I want a foreign. This coat never fails to make me feel bougie. I don't think I'm gonna wear it because I feel like it's too bougie. At your house? Yeah, at my house. <laughs> bailing the party we took some leftover food and I got my ice cream gang, 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 gang. hey guys happy vlogmas day 17 I'm starting the day off very late it's 3 30 right now my hair's kind of getting greasy today so I need to wash it so I decided that I'm gonna just like walk on my treadmill for a really long time try to burn as many calories as I can to like give up I don't have any YouTube videos to watch because I watch them all so I don't know what I'm gonna watch but hopefully I can find something that keeps me entertained for a really long time because I don't want to do like a major workout right now. I just want to like be active and like burn some calories and just not like lay in bed and like be lazy all day. So I'm going to go do that and I got my Apple Watch on and I'm going to start my workout. Thank you. 